Thanks a lot, Guy. There was a lot more hype over Manti Teo's Heisman Trophy candidacy a couple years ago than there is now for Marcus Mariota. Well, guess what? The St. Louis alum is just fine with that. The Oregon quarterback is as humble as he is efficient on the field. And our Chris Tanaka spoke exclusively with the Heisman frontrunner today and joins us live from Eugene. Chris, Marcus, he's an impressive guy, huh? He really is, Kea. He, he is mild-mannered. He is down-to-earth. And when we spoke exclusively today, he must have mentioned the teaching of his parents at least five or six times. It's where he draws his values. It's where he draws his sense of self. Speaking of exclusive, not just the conversation, the access inside Autzen Stadium where Saturday the home schedule will wrap up for the Ducks against the Colorado Buffaloes. Head coach Mark Helfrich had his final media availability today, and all of the questions, at least at the start of his press conference, were on Marcus. Will this be his final home game? The head coach, well, he sidestepped, as he should. I asked Marcus when we sat down what he was thinking, and he said he hasn't given it thought yet on the advice of his parents. He's simply taking this experience game by game, day by day. Now, whether or not he readies for the NFL draft, the NFL is readying for him. And there are some connected to the league that marvel at his attributes but question the outward leadership, the aggressive competitiveness that they see from so many athletes. Marcus, being a laid-back Hawaii kid, said, you know what? I'm just as competitive as they are. His head coach backed him up. He had the credibility day one of a, of a veteran worker and how, just how he appro approached lifting academics. Again, anything he does, he wants to do great. You know, I'm one of those guys that are just kind of super competitive. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, you know, it could be cars, it could be video games. Um, you know, I just had to find ways to win. And, um, you know, I think my teammates realize that. And um, to me, that's all that mattered. Now, as grounded as he is, you have to realize Marcus is the big man on campus, and that means a lot of undergrad, a lot of his classmates coming up and wanting to talk to him and interact with him. I did ask him about that, how he deals with living life in a fishbowl when several quarterbacks in years past have fled campuses they were on when they were the Heisman favorites. An answer you may expect from a Hawaii boy. Take a listen. That was kind of my mom's biggest pitch was, you know, it fits you. It fits your personality and, um, you know, throughout any recruiting process, you got to find what, what best fits you. You know, this was kind of it and it was one of those things that, you know, I felt comfortable in and um, really just allowed me kind of grow here and that's, you know, all you can really ask for. All you can ask for indeed. Of course, our series on Marcus will continue in the days ahead. Uh, one more note on student athletes uh, from Hawaii who are now at the University of Oregon who may be playing in the NFL. I spoke with Punahou alum DeForest Buckner today. He said as a true junior, he will weigh his options for the NFL in the offseason, won't retain an agent immediately in the event he could come back here. He's undecided, but right now he wants to come back and play a fourth season. Who could blame him when the facilities, the community, and the school are this pristine? Live in Eugene, Oregon, Chris Tanaka, Hawaii News Now. Oh, great job, Chris. Another epic live shot location. Let's be sure to write the Ducks a nice thank you note. That's right. Chris looks like the big man on campus right now. <laughs> Only one there. Live it up, Chris. Thanks a lot, brother. <laughs>